we will now start our first drawing that is modeling of equipment it is you can so see over here the name it is something d10 it is something d1201 equipment name is this and here we will model this one by using pdms aviva pdms so now we will just go to start menu all programs aviva plan viewer and run pdms here we are going to start pdms and now it's starting up just hold down select the username copy it and paste as it is in the password section click ok so here we go this is what is our workspace where we have to do our modeling uh, so first of all I will just resize this and uh, I will just make this command window to move a bit shorter I will take this bit shorter and just try to move this for my convenience I am just doing this it is not mandatory I will go to display and click on this members button so as to see the members present in my world and I uh, will go to design click on equipment equipment frame equipment and ok and this will show that here we are going for equipment modeling now we will create this zone first site first so being on this on this design world or being on this world click on create then site click on uh, being on this world go to create and click on site here we will take temporary refinery zone refinery zone press ok and now being on this temporary refinery zone create zone which will be something like um, zone zone ref for our refinery click ok now being on this zone refinery we will create our equipment so what's the name of our equipment we will give it something like uh, ref refinery d1201 click ok so now we will head upon for designing of our member or this of our element which is this one which are going to just you know, is going to model this out and uh, it is something uh, let us see it consists of a disc a cylindrical portion another disc and two boxes here we are having these two boxes so for designing this we need to create our primitives go to create and click on primitives here we got the series of options for box cylinder cone snout pyramid cone torus rectangular torus dish sloped cylinder extrusion solid revolution what we need here is first of all we will draw this cylindrical portion first let us draw it by using cylindrical option just give the radius that is what we were having over here the radius is this the diameter of the cylindrical portion is 1410 and the height is something the height is uh, something you can see over here 4800 is the height so just take it down height is 4800 enter and diameter is 1410 enter click on create here in this kind of this is the new pdms application software in this we have to give first of all the rotation for our own convenience and i will give here something like uh, 90 degrees in about 
x axis and I will apply this rotation I'll just move it to look uh, something isometric view of 2 or uh, or something like 3 and I'll just try to look it east so now this is what we were having press F8 button it will show the wireframe modeling if you want to see that where the, your axis is actually situated then in the command window in this command window type axes axis at ce that is current element press enter it will just show you that where is your axis situated really in this frame so now we have gonna do some work the next element which could be attached in this element would be like this uh, spherical portion this one disk portion should be made by us so now for preparing this disk portion we will just create another another element another primitive that is by using um, dish option click upon dish option the diameter of the dish is same as that of the cylindrical portion that is 1410 so uh, we will give here 1410 right then now radius radius of the disk can be calculated as diameter by 10 that is 141 okay and the height would be and the height is given here that is this this height this distance that is 380 so i'll give the height itself thereby press enter and create so our disk is appearing over here which is not as we wanted so we have to rotate this first by a 90 degree angle towards x axis just feed it and apply it this is how we will get it now we will just try to move this dish portion towards this end this is how we are going to do just type over here being on this current element being on the disk we have to go and type by south 2400 why i have done this because the dish was originally situated in the middle of this cylindrical portion and the cylindrical portion was having a distance of 4800 and half of the distance is 2400 and we have to move this disk initially by this half of the distance so we have entered by south 2400 and the disk is here so now we will create another disk over here something like this option should be there and we'll go to create then copy then mirror okay now to cursor element being on the element we'll just do like this come through this and just press over here click apply retain co retain created copies yes i want it and then dismiss after creating these two disks we will just click upon the next button and here we are having our drawing so now what we need is to draw these two boxes here we can see that these two boxes are having some kind of relation between them and if we create this one particular box we can offset it by this distance so as to create this box now as you can see our center was our center of axis was somewhere here originally around in our drawing and if you could see the distance of this particular box is given through this tangential distance of this cylindrical portion so if you could transfer this originally axis point towards this point then it will be easier to move our box through this distance so next thing which we could be doing is we will be just transferring the or modifying our equipment origin by going on modify option select equipment origin and id point click upon that and here just keep pressing while pressing your left mouse button drag through the side drag through the side and click this at this junction return to initial origin no we want the new one so we will not go and we will not return that press no so now our axis is somewhere here if we want to check that where our axis is presently we will type axis at c this will show that here is our axis so after shifting of this axis we are going to build a box a create a box so now the x length let us see this is the box which we are having and uh, as we could see over here that it is the y distance because 
we are seeing in a north direction is this way north direction is this this way south is this and uh, towards that towards the paper it is east and uh, and through the, through us it is west so that the x distance is something 1060 y distance is 3300 and z will be something this one okay so if you could see the figure of what we are going to draw like parameters so we can see over here and this is the, this is the y length which we could see over here see the y length is this one okay and uh, the x length is somewhat somewhere here and the z length is somewhere here somewhere here this is this is what we are having our z distance so providing all these primitives we will get our required box so in x one will write 1060 in y it will be 300 sorry and in z it will be uh, something 860 like press enter and here we will do create so here our box is but still the position of our box is somewhere here that means 965 mm towards east should be moved and bottom it should be moved about 430 okay so let's provide these directions also east we are having east no we don't have any directions in east north yes we are having north north we are having 965 per center and up no we don't have any up we have down dimension so down we have just to present 430 okay so this is what we are having press enter this is how our box will be placed so click on next and see the box is placed properly over here and now we have to create one more box here somewhere here so we'll create we will go to create then copy then offset see this the direction of the direction this way is something y direction so we are going to take offset in y direction and that is two of the length which is given here see the distance between these two boxes is 2870 so we will take this distance as the offset we will write 2870 and press enter and uh, apply return copies yes i do want to retain these copies press yes dismiss so see this is how our element looks like so first element that is the equipment d1201 is ready with us without nozzles so now we could see that we have to create we have to see the modeling of this solid modeling how it looks in solid modeling press f8 button so it will look like this use this option to rotate it in either ways either this way or uh, like this way or anything or place this one to move up and down or any sideways wherever you want and uh, just right click look east we will get the original picture press f8 back and we will get the wireframe modeling we will get the wireframe modeling okay so now this is what for today's class thank you